Item SCP-039 Object Class Euclid Description SCP-039 consists of 23 instances of Nasalus larvatus, a proboscis monkey, who have been subject to radical anatomical changes. The eyes and mouths of SCP-039 are absent, leaving the face bare save for the nose and its accompanying nasal passages. Instances of SCP-039 possess acute auditory and tactile sense to compensate for a lack of eyes relying mostly on physical contact with objects to perceive them and on loud nasal snorts as a sort of echolocation to help them navigate in their environment. Necropsies have also revealed the digestive system to be absent. How instances of SCP-039 obtain nutrition, or, alternately, how they survive without it is still a subject of research. Instances of SCP-039 display signs of sapience, examples of which include communication via nasal snores, an understanding of spoken English, and a complex understanding of machinery. Adult instances have demonstrated the ability to operate mechanical tools and possess the ability to repair and manufacture various pieces of technology, such as disassembling and reassembling an internal combustion engine, and efficiently wiring a small apartment room. Testing has shown that SCP-039 appear to work more efficiently individually, rather than in groups, as instances of SCP-039 will often become distracted by one another. Occasionally when working, instances of SCP-039 will clutch their abdomens and emit distressed vocalizations. If food is located nearby, they will attempt to smear their faces with a substance. It is currently hypothesized that this indicates that SCP-039 is the result of artificial manipulation of normal nasal S. larvatus specimens with documents recovered during containment supporting this hypothesis. SCP-039 are capable of reproduction and gestation not unlike nasalis larvatus. As of the time of this writing, five instances of SCP-039 have been born. SCP-039 show a very close bond among their species, with newborns often being cared for by all capable adults. New instances are born with anatomical anomalies similar to other instances of SCP-039 but lack the knowledge of other instances. Parent instances will educate newborns on communication and basic skills until they reach the age of 6 months, at which point technological ability will be taught by other adult instances. SCP-039 were recovered from an uninhabited research facility 50 kilometers from the nearby town of whatever, Nevada. Documents recovered during containment placed ownership of the facility under Boo Radley K. Unknown, a company funding research for the advancement of natural human ability. 20 instances of SCP-039 had been apparently living in and maintaining the facility for an unknown period of time. Additional recovered documents indicate that a project was being conducted to augment human intelligence. This project appears to have been cancelled shortly before the company's collapse with the assets sold to an unnamed group. Further research into a known group and the groups that acquired its assets has revealed several other anomalous objects including SCP-1513. Special containment procedures, all instances of SCP-039 are to be contained in Site-77's Wilderness Observation Chamber 2B. At least two security personnel are to monitor the interior and exterior of SCP-39's chamber, and are to rotate every six hours. Staff members may not access SCP-39's chamber without an accompanying escort from site security and may only do so for research purposes or for the examination of the chamber for containment sabotage or contraband, which is to occur weekly. As of September 18th, 20-whatever, SCP-039-8 has become pregnant, responsibility for its containment has been reassigned to personnel in the veterinary observation wing. On oh my god, do you want Planet of the Apes? This is how you get Planet of the Apes.